Hello everyone. RAM previews, as many of you already know, allow you to preview animations played back in real time. This in turn allows you to not only check your work, but also apply corrections before rendering out a lengthy video. You can render the entire clip, select the specific portion that you are currently working on, or select any other part of the clip as well. There are many ways to apply a RAM preview. To access RAM preview options, you go through the Preview tab. Preview to RAM renders the entire clip. Preview to RAM at half rate renders the entire clip and still plays it back in real time, but it only renders half of the frames. Same applies to render at quarter rate, except it only renders one in four frames. When you render at lower frame rates, you get a much faster render of your RAM preview. And when you're only trying to get a feel for if your animation is occurring too fast or too slow, this is a very good option. I'm going to come over to my timeline now. And one of the first ways you can change the area that is previewed in your RAM preview is to change the in and out points. I'm going to move this to here to demonstrate and when I run a RAM preview at one quarter rate, I'm going to get a very fast RAM preview and playing in real time I can decide if this type on text is occurring at the speed that I want it to. But if you come over here and look at the globe you can see how jittery it is. With this much video information missing you could easily have several frames that have issues so you wouldn't want to render out your main video until you make sure that you run a full RAM preview that renders every frame available. I'm now going to re-expand the in and out point. Now, between these markers, if I was to put the timeline indicator to this point and come over here, I can come down here and choose between user marks and run a RAM preview strictly for that small segment. So that's kind of cool, huh? Stop that. Also positioning it to other areas and then selecting from CTI will then run a RAM preview from where it is in the timeline forward. Okay. Also, to CTI runs it backwards from that point. The last choice is around CTI. Around CTI is set in your preferences window. I'm going to come up here, I'm going to open Preferences. These settings are found under the Preview tab in the Preference window. I have mine set to 10 frames. Okay, what that means is that this is going to preview from 5 frames before until 5 frames after. I'm going to come up here to select it, around CTI. And you can see here, it is only running those 10 frames. I'm going to stop that. That pretty much covers the many aspects of running RAM previews. I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Take care.